I'm uh, just waiting to see if they'll have to operate. Oh, God. Uh, I, I, I stopped and I got this. I am just so sorry for this. I'm really sorry that I snapped at you. I was just so worried. Oh, no, it's okay. Good news. We won't have to do surgery. Oh, that's God. great. <laughs> uh, we've given Bongo something to help pass the earring. Uh, when he does, would you like us to retrieve it for you? I'm going to say no. Okay. You should be able to take him home in about an hour. Wow. You must be so relieved. I'm sorry. I was just really worried. Well, it was your dog. I get it. Actually, he was my wife's dog. And one of the last things she said to me in the hospital before she died was to be sure I looked after him. And um, I promised I would. And just like that, Susan could suddenly see something she'd never seen before. I uh, meant so much to her. Mike Delfino was still in love with his late wife. And if um, something had happened, I would have felt like I failed her. And I know that sounds stupid, but I... And she knew right then neither she nor Edie would be laying claim to his heart any time soon. No, it doesn't. Not at all. So she decided, for now, she could settle for just being his friend. For you. <laughs> well, for Bongo. Give it to him. As I look back at the world I left behind, it's all so clear to me. The beauty that waits to be unveiled, the mysteries that long to be uncovered. But people so rarely stop to take a look. They just keep moving. It's a shame, really. There's so much to see.